Repetitive shoulder movements are activities that require overhead motions like painting walls, wiping windows, drying clothes, cutting trees branches along with heavy lifting as well as athletes who are constantly raising their arms above the head when playing basketball, badminton, or swimming can lead to radiator cough syndrome. Aside from these activities, injury from an accident that directly affects the shoulder can also result in rotator cuff syndrome. Rotator cuff syndrome is a condition of the inflammation or injury of the rotator cuff, which is the important part uh, that can make your shoulder move normally. So the cause of rotator syndrome is uh, from two causes. First, it's from the degenerative. When you old age, the record may be can torn. Second, it from the accidental. When you fall or the leg hit of your shoulder, it can uh, injury of your rotator cuff and that uh, cause of the rotator cuff syndrome. For the rotator cuff syndrome, a lot of people come to see me. They have history of uh, repetitive overhead activity and heavy lifting of the shoulder that can cause rotator cuff syndrome and rotator cuff injury. The symptom is upon the severity. Some patients have a mild condition. They have just had a pain and discomfort. For more severity, maybe some people have very painful stiffness and weakness of the shoulder and can make them decrease rise quality. So this is an important reason that we need to treat in the beginning because if we untreat, it can make it harder to treat and make it more severe at the symptom. Now, there are two different methods available to treat rotator cuff syndrome. One is a non-surgical treatment method. The doctor will use an anti-inflammatory injection that does not contain a steroid or consider a steroid injection into your shoulder joint to reduce the inflammation, pain, and swelling. The injections will be used in conjunction with physiotherapy along with decreasing the use of shoulder and make adjustment of daily behaviors. These methods will gradually relieve pain and allow patients to start using the shoulder again. But they will take several weeks or even months to see the improvements. For those patients who are in serious conditions, have severe torn rotator cuff or no improvements, have shown after receiving the conservative treatment in the long run, doctor will recommend surgical procedure. The treatment is depend on the cause of the symptom. If it's caught from degenerative or aging, we can treatment by physiotherapy or medication first. If the symptom is not improved, the surgery is the solution. But if the symptom is from traumatic cause or accident, we recommend arthroscopic rotator cuff repair is a treatment of choice for this group. Currently, arthroscopic rotator cup repair is a standard treatment for rotator cup torn. It has benefit with a small scar. The patient can be recovered quickly. With the health of S1 equipment, the patient is allowed to receive physical therapy after surgery immediately. After undergoing arthroscopic rotator cuff repair surgery, the patient will be able to outstretch the arm straight away and gradually able to increase the use of the shoulder. Driving can be started after a week and three months later, it will be safe to go back into sports. Wetani, victory for life. Leave us a comment below if you have any questions and please hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our healthcare videos.